We don't have a senior in the program um, right now, and that's okay. Uh, we're really teaching leadership for our kids and making sure that they understand that um, the best teams that we have are the ones that are player-driven and not coach-driven. Well, this time two years ago, Lake Belton High School didn't even exist, but already the Broncos are proving they're going to be a force to be reckoned with in the years to come. Last season, the Broncos played an abbreviated schedule against junior varsity teams and other new schools because, well, they didn't have any upperclassmen. Still, Lake Belton dominated their way through that schedule, and now they return just about everybody. And the team that was just sophomores and freshmen is one year older and ready to take on a full varsity schedule for the first time. You know what? It's a lot of fun to, to build a program. Uh, every day is about 30 minutes longer um, than what I've been used to in the past. But uh, that 30 minutes gets you ready for to be prepared for uh, every day. Now Lake Belton's biggest strength will be on the offensive end. Quarterback Connor Cruz will have a lot of weapons at his disposal at the skill positions, including wide receiver Micah Hudson, who shined in the Broncos' first ever appearance at State 7 on 7. Lake Belton will not be able to compete for a playoff spot or a district title once again this season, but that won't stop them from making noise. Oh, it's great. It's a true blessing. Just having all the chemistry we've had with these guys for years since middle school. I've known most of these guys. And just being with each other just it builds a lot of bonds. We've grown as a family, and there's a whole bunch more kids coming at it wanting to be a Bronco Nation. It's very fun. The Broncos have a fun schedule set up for this season, including a visit from Mejia week one. They'll finally get put in a district in 2022, but for now, the task at hand is getting ready for that transition.